When news broke that Faith Evans was dating Stevie J, everyone went bananas. Those of you who watch our channel religiously have seen our video about Faith's extremely messy love life, which we've linked for you in the description box. And Stevie's hot, stankin' mess relationship drama has played out on reality TV for years. So what could possibly go wrong between this couple? Well, a lot. The cracks started to show immediately, and the red flags have continued to all over the place ever since. You know this is about to be a roller coaster, but before we buckle up and get into it, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, buffalo ranch popcorn, and green apple licorice. In 2016, Faith started working on The King and I, a duet album that utilizes vocals from her late husband, The Notorious B.I.G. She worked with several people to complete the project, including Diddy and Stevie J. Faith and Stevie go way back to their days of working together when she was signed to Diddy's label, Bad Boy Records, and Stevie was a part of Diddy's group of producers known as the Hitmen. Stevie is also the godfather of Faith and Biggie's son, C.J. The mother of four told TV One's Uncensored that while recording the King and I album, Stevie flirted with her for the first time, and she had to tell him to stop because she only saw him as a friend. What she failed to mention was that Stevie was also expecting a baby with his then-girlfriend, Jocelyn Hernandez, at the time. Faith was totally uninterested, but she told Uncensored that Stevie pleaded with her and her close friends for months until she finally gave in. So their relationship started sometime in 2016, and Jocelyn gave birth to Stevie's sixth child, Bonnie Bella, in December of that same year. We ain't the ones to judge, but starting a relationship with someone who has a newborn baby with someone else is, you know, sort of interesting. But moving on, two months later in February 2017, the first dose of drama hit the internet. A woman by the name of Liz took to her social media to announce that she had been dating Stevie for the past seven months. The woman added that because she was so rich and successful, she had financially supported Stevie and bought him expensive jewelry during their relationship. The fact that she was allegedly taking care of him is a very important piece of information that we'll dive deeper into in a little bit. The woman also said Faith was harassing her by sending her photos of positive pregnancy tests and threatening emails. Many people automatically assumed the woman was telling the truth based on Stevie's past history. Our friends over at I Love Old School Music website wrote, Faith, if you're reading this, I just have three words for you regarding your relationship with Stevie. Run, child, run. One month later, it was reported that Faith told Stevie to get to stepping after finding out he was still messing around with Jocelyn. Faith said on an episode of Behind Every Man, I think that's probably when I stepped away because I'm not a man stealer, a home wrecker, you know. She also told The Breakfast Club that they broke up because there was too much drama in Stevie's life, but Stevie wasn't going to give up so easily. He admitted that getting dumped made him, quote, lace up my boots and do all the right things. So they got back together, and on Tuesday, July 17th, 2018, they were in Las Vegas when Stevie allegedly told Faith they needed to get married right then and there. Insiders close to Faith's family told TMZ Stevie was trying to rush the wedding because, quote, if Faith started telling friends and family she was marrying him, they would talk her out of it. They tied the knot in their hotel room without exchanging wedding rings. It was Stevie's first marriage and Faith's third. According to TMZ, the couple's family and close friends were blindsided, and they weren't happy about the news, including Faith's 21-year-old son, CJ, because he had to process the fact that his godfather had turned into his stepdad. Cha. Insiders close to the situation told TMZ that Faith's friends and family members were blowing up her phone. They repeatedly asked her why she did it, and Faith reportedly responded by sending them the song she recorded with Stevie called A Minute. The lyrics of the song go a little something like this. Lately I've been thinking you could be my baby. Everybody thinking we both crazy. You crossed the line so many times, but you've always been there for me. 
Falling in love with you, it didn't even take a minute. Two days after becoming Mr. and Mrs. Jordan, Jocelyn took to her social media accounts to share a screenshot of text messages she allegedly exchanged with Stevie on June 17th, one month before he married Faith. In his alleged messages, Stevie asks Jocelyn to marry him, but she responds that she wants to marry someone else that she really likes. So one month before marrying Faith, he was trying to marry someone else. Despite that little bit of drama, Faith and Stevie were more in love than ever. Stevie told People Magazine in February 2019 that they had finally purchased their wedding rings. He also added he was putting in some major work and was giving it to Faith about three to five times a day. Now, let's fast forward a few months. As they approached one year of marriage, sources reported there was trouble in paradise. They briefly unfollowed each other on Instagram, and Stevie was using Twitter as a cringy public diary to post cryptic tweets like, Drunk people always speak their truth. One's insecurities can damage them. All that glitters ain't gold. Cherish what you love, just know nothing will last forever. Despite the rumors and all signs pointing towards a rift, Stevie and Faith showed up to that year's Essence Festival together. But months later, in December 2019, Stevie was back on Twitter to pour his heart out. He tweeted things such as, No woman is faithful. The next morning, he hopped back online to announce his Twitter and Instagram had been hacked. Mm hmm. By that point, we didn't know what the state of their marriage was, but we got all the confirmation we needed in May 2020. TMZ reported the authorities were called to Stevie and Faith's L.A. area home at one in the morning after the couple got into a heated argument. The police noticed visible marks and scratches on Stevie's face, and Faith was hauled off to the clinker. She bonded out later that day, and the charges were later dropped because Stevie refused to testify against her. Now listen, we love us an old, juicy, and messy red flag video just like the rest of y'all. But we also love it when our favorite celebrity is happy and satisfied in their relationship. Although we knew Stevie and Faith were a train wreck waiting to happen, we were rooting for them behind the scenes. Up until Jocelyn dropped another bomb on their marriage. In April 2021, Jocelyn fired up her Instagram and accused Faith of constantly cheating on Stevie with a bunch of young men. Jocelyn also made some startling allegations against Faith's son, Ryder, who's on the autism spectrum. Jocelyn wrote, Your crazy kid almost killed Bonnie Bella under your watch. I have Stevie on recording begging me for forgiveness because Bonnie could have gotten killed by that animal you call a son. According to court docs obtained by our nosy selves, Stevie and Faith separated six months later in October 2021. And one month after that, Stevie filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. He also asked the court to award him spousal support and asked Faith to pay his legal fees. Based on the documents we obtained, it doesn't appear that Stevie and Faith have a prenup. Now, remember the woman Liz that claimed she dated Stevie while he was seeing Faith? Liz claimed she was financially supporting Stevie during their alleged relationship. And with Stevie asking Faith to pay him spousal support and his legal fees, well, we can only assume that Faith was the breadwinner in their marriage as well. So what's going on with Stevie's finances? Are the checks not hidden like they used to? Well, through the years, sources have reported that Stevie owes six figures worth of back taxes to the IRS and the state of Georgia and his child support reached $1.3 million. As of this video, we're unsure if his debts have been repaid. As they moved forward with their divorce, a video of Faith and Stevie hit Instagram that showed them arguing over Faith's alleged infidelities. We live. It's cool. We live. They see it. Please leave me alone. Please. I hate you. We live. I hate you. It's cool. We live. It's cool. That's what you like to do. How can you disrespect me, though? I ain't do nothing to you. All I did was love you. So it looks like maybe Jocelyn's tea about Faith cheating on Stevie was true. From there, they were spotted out on vacation and enjoying each other's company. She told Entertainment Tonight that they planned to spend the holidays together as well. 
But instead of calling off the divorce, Faith's lawyers were still actively submitting information to the court on her behalf. In December 2021, they asked for Stevie's request for spousal support to be denied. Stevie continues to express his love for Faith on social media, including in a May 2022 Mother's Day post where he apologized for disrespecting her and humiliating her in front of the world. He added, God knows I'm a better man with you, and I'm asking you to find it in your heart to forgive me and allow me to rebuild our trust. So, we're confused. Isn't Stevie the one who filed for divorce? Isn't Faith the one that was allegedly cheating on him? So why is Stevie constantly begging for her love and forgiveness? Now, we're not trying to stir the pot or anything like that, but it appears that just as Stevie jumped into the marriage, he also jumped into filing for divorce. Even though he has made it clear that he wants to work things out with Faith, she's calling his bluff and has continued to move forward with his request to go their separate ways. Our theory was verified by Radar Online in May 2022 when the gossip website reported Stevie had been begging Faith to take him back, but she wouldn't budge. They spent the 4th of July together, and Stevie also told Hip Hop DX, That's my best friend. Why wouldn't it work out? She know everything about me. I know everything about her. So when it's like that, it's bound to work out. But Faith said, ah, ah. In October 2022, she turned over her financial records to the court in an attempt to get the divorce finalized. Looking back on their relationship, it was clearly doomed from the jump. And the red flags were evident to all of us on the outside looking in. Nonetheless, we wish Faith and Stevie nothing but the best as they move forward with their lives. Did we miss any red flags? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG. RRG.